But now we're going to talk about eighth note rock beats. Now with these, your right hand is going to be playing eighth notes. There's a little bit of coordination involved in trying to get the foot to do what it wants to do and the snare to do what it needs to do. One thing to keep in mind is your dynamic levels or your volume levels throughout the voices. A natural tendency for a lot of people is to really hammer out the eighth notes because usually this is your dominant hand. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't play too loudly with the right hand and these snare drum backbeats with the left hand have to be really strong. Now if you're playing open handed, that's going to be a different situation, but you want to make sure that these hi-hat notes are not too loud with whichever hand you're playing them with. So let's play this first example and check out how it sounds. This beat in particular will work with many, many, many songs. So this is a very important beat to get down. Let's check it out. Now with number two, we have what we call four on the floor, which is four quarter notes on the bass drum. This is a very, very useful beat and this shows up a lot. So I'm gonna play this at a slightly quicker tempo. Let's check it out. So one thing to mention is that you can get different sounds out of the hi-hat. By playing with the tip, you get more of a focused, smaller sound. But you can lay into the shoulder on the edge of the hi-hat and get a bigger sound. So you can experiment with that. I'm going to play number three right now at a slower tempo. Let's check that out. Now another thing that's very common to do with eighth notes on the hi-hat is to open up the hi-hat a little bit so you can get a little slushier sound. So let's play this next one like that at a slightly quicker tempo. So we've talked about some of the different sounds you can get out of the hi-hat when playing eighth notes and one of the very simple things you can do to get a different sound is come over here to the ride cymbal and this is used a lot for choruses and bigger sections of tunes. So let's try that and we're also going to add now two and four on the hi-hat with the snare drum. So now with these, what you want to do is make sure you play along to the metronome, but also play along to some of your favorite tunes, not just the play alongs in the book. Especially numbers one and number two, those will work with almost any song on the radio, and you can start playing along to the radio or your favorite tunes or different records, and you start off with a simple beat and then you start adding to it as you hear things that the people on the records are doing, and you can start to really develop your playing in this very simple way.